Alrighty, time to watch Tristan attempt to solve this. I did want to note before he comes on that I deliberately don't show him the rules or anything before he does a test solve, typically. So I want to see if he can understand all of the rules from reading through it. I'm pretty optimistic that he'll be able to, but I just wanted to double check. No one told me life was gonna be this way. I have Zach on standby. Uh, and you're recording? Yes. I am 10 minutes in. Okay. 10 minutes of gripping, exciting content. Uh, do you want to record an intro? Uh, I already set an intro in my... Uh, in your my recording? Thing. Yep. I explained before that I was going to have you solve it, and then I recorded an intro to say that you were about to solve it, and that I uh, I had not yet explained the rules or let you read the rules, because I wanted to make sure you could read the rules uh, and understand what they said. Okay. <clears throat> I should also maybe tell people that you might try to daringly do this without the pen tool, which is not a very uh, recommended approach, but we'll see what happens. Uh. Well, I'm not above using the pen tool, I just won't like it. I'll also let Zach watch, because he usually doesn't get to watch the Sudoku puzzles. Well, I am I am ready. Already. Okay, this is my first time seeing this open. Uh, I have no idea what's going on here. I have no idea the rules. There's a... There's a gray cell down here. Okay, so let's read some rules. Normal Sudoku rules apply. I can deal with that. <laughs> Draw some killer cages into the grid. Oh, look! The diagonals are in! Sven Unfortunate, because you don't want to uh, put diagonals in today, but uh, at later dates, it will be very useful to be able to put diagonals in. Yeah, that's a, that's a new feature as of today. Diagonal lines in the pen tool. Okay, draw some killer cages into the grid uh, so that both sides of every dot belong to a killer cage. Okay. So not, not every cell is going to be in a killer cage, but both sides of every dot are in a killer cage. Each killer cage is a set of orthogonally connected cells. Okay. Uh, killer cages do not overlap, okay, and do not contain repeated digits, standard. Every typo there in the rules, uh, every killer cage touches at least one dot. Okay. A white dot between two cages indicates that their totals are consecutive. A black dot between two cages indicates that their totals have a ratio of two to one. Okay, so we have normal crop key rules, but on cage totals. And all possible dots are given if an edge has a cage on both sides and those cages have consecutive totals, there will always be a white dot there. Now, what I'm taking to mean is that that and then I'm taking it to mean this couldn't happen if there isn't a white dot here. If this is a cage and this is a cage. That is what it says, yes. That there would... Okay, just making sure. And the example tries to make this very clear, because I, I thought that that was the thing that people are most likely to misinterpret, so I both spell it out in excruciating detail here, and then also the example has a cage where there, or has a pair of cages where there's like three different dots between the same cages. Uh, every killer cage contains its size as a digit. Okay. And we have an example puzzle with this rule set. This is a completed grid. So here the circle digits are the size of the cage. 
and we have the totals of the cage written in here. So 18 is double 9 is next to 8 is next to 9. So we have this sort of loop here. 8 is next to 7, 14, 17. Okay, this looks reasonable. I'm not sure where I'm going to start, but I, I believe I understand the rules. That is a good start. Okay, so... This immediately draws my attention. Is it possible... I, I'm going to quickly disprove that this cell and this cell... That I, I want to quickly prove that they can't be in the same cage as each other. Um, that... Yes, okay. That's very easy. Um, for... A for cage totals to be able to have a white dot and a black dot, they would have to be a one cage and a two cage. And, well, neither of those can span this gap. Because it would have to be at least that. So these are both cage borders. And there are cages on both sides here. It's kind of weird that I can't see you, because when I I solve your puzzles, I, I usually sort of look over at you and I'm like, am I, am I going in the right direction? I get sort of visual feedback, but I can't see Zeta right now, so uh, I, I'm just sort of, there's, there's this, this silence. Um, Zach watched me set the puzzle earlier. Would you like me to bring him down with you so you can look at his face for visual feedback? I mean, if you've got Zach there, then then it's probably good enough. Okay. So, I want to prove now that these two cells have to be joined together in a cage. Uh, which, the only way they aren't is if this is a one and it's in a cage by itself, but we are going to immediately run into problems because then whatever cage this belongs to would have to sum to two, but if it had a two in it, well, first of all, there's a given two, apparently. Uh, given digits are invisible. Uh, but also, it, it would... If it had a 2 in it, it would have to be of size 2, at least. And, yeah. So these two are part of the same cage. Which means there's another border here. There's obviously a border here, but... It doesn't necessarily mean... This is the same cage as this. But this is very crowded up here. For lack of anything better to do, I'm going to draw cage edges through every dot. So that cage goes like that, that's like that. This cage can't be a solitary one for many reasons. So it's going to have to get out, which means this goes that way and this goes that way. Can you explain that last line you drew? This one? Yes. No, I can't. That, that, that one was an, an erroneous line. So at least one of these cages this cage and this cage, at least one of them grows at least one more cell. Because they can't both be of size two, because that would put two twos in box one. Ah. Uh. Hmm. So I, I have to pay attention to the fact that there's not a dot here. So we can't connect 
a cage this way and connect a cage this way. I don't know if I'm focusing on the right things. You are very quiet. I'm trying not to uh not to be too uh spoilery, but you are you are absolutely focusing on exactly the right things. You just uh yeah, just keep saying the things you're saying and you will put correctly the places together you need to go. You you said exactly the right things to look at. So at least one of this and this have to be a boundary. If you contemplated looking at that same logic rotated 90 degrees. Rotated 90 degrees. Oh, here? Yeah, so row two, column two, looking, you're looking at row two, column two, looking vertically. What if you look at row two, column two, horizontally? Oh, the, this cage can't extend over here. Okay, so we get a cage border there, and this cage now can't come down here either because then it would still be touching this and still need a black dot. So, so this cage d doesn't come down. Now, would it be possible... No. This, this cage here, it can't be a one-cell cage. In fact, I'm not sure we can ever have a one-cell cage on a dot it, with this rule set. Because then you just... What, what goes across from it? it there's a one-cell cage will always have a one in it. And then... You, I you think the most concise a... way to phrase it is that there is no such thing as a 2x sum. Sure. Granted, I've been thinking about this for 12 hours, and I only just figured out that that was the easiest way to uh, express it. But th that is, I think, what is going on. So this has to come down here. Which means this cage has to finish. It can't be this cage. So this cage is done. And one of these is definitely a two. Because it is too big. Two, two, two size. <laughs> That's a cage. So this is some other cage. And that cage is going to have to escape downwards. Now, this cage up here has to escape to the right because it can't also be size 2. So it comes to here. This is a new cage. This one could come down. It could. Uh, this line extends here. Can you justify that? Oh, man. Um, yes. Because if it didn't, this would come over here and we'd need another black dot here. Correct. So. I, it's true. I just wasn't being careful enough about it. I, I'm actually going to take these lines out because they're just going to confuse me about what I've actually justified and what I haven't. I mean, in fairness, you had justified all of those lines. Yes, it's just not helpful from a notational standpoint. So I'd love to say something like, this isn't in a cage. But I'm not sure if I can do that at this point. Okay, is this dot the thing to look at now? There might be a cage border here. Oh, wait. 
no, there is a cage border there be because of the same reason. We'd need a black dot here. I am nodding vigorously, even though you can't see it. But the, the people in the VOD, yeah, can see you, me really, you really, you really, I'm getting, I have no feedback from you that it, unless you speak. So now this is in a cage and it is trapped in this corner, so it must extend down. And this cage and this cage have no dot relation. Yeah, I don't like these these lines, actually. I, I like lines for the borders, but maybe I want colors instead. Or maybe both. Why not both? Por que nos dos? I think it's much easier with the colors. I, I certainly did it with colors the whole time, but that's not a surprise to anyone. Uh... So, yellow... Yellow can't wrap around purple here. Um, because if it did, purple would be of size 2, and you'd repeat 2 in the column. So purple needs to grow. That's purple. Ah, and blue needs to grow. Because yes. for, for the same reason, it, it can't be size 2. Uh, and bl we know this is a boundary, so blue doesn't wrap around itself. This cell is in a cage, and it's not blue. Because if it were blue, this dot means that there would have to be a dot here as well. So there's actually a boundary here, and this is a new color. Red does not extend down, because yellow does extend down, and we'd need another dot. So, that cell is not red. This cell is red, because red needs to grow. Yes. And red doesn't extend down through the dot. Now, red and blue have no relation, so they could run alongside each other. Yellow needs to grow in some direction, because it sees a two. Good. Ah, and it can't grow right, because red is here. Correct. So, yellow grows down. And now, that is the end of yellow in this direction. But yellow could still squirt out left or right. This is a new cage. This is a new cage. Mm -hmm. This is definitely a new cage as well. Mm -hmm. It would be nice to be able to prove that purple grows. But maybe that's a later thing. You have a given digit that you have not seen yet. I have a given digit. I, I have this three. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Ah, it means that orange can't uh, end here. So the only way orange can get out is down. So this is finally our first identified uncaged cell. Yes. Oh, I don't want to make it light gray because... I mean, the um, light gray cell just means this is uncaged, so... Oh, that's right. So, <laughs> if you uh, use light gray to mean it's uncaged, it will not cause any problems. That is true. That is true. And now... Oh, this is interesting, because blue and orange now must both end, because otherwise they would meet at one of these edges. Yes. Or orange could still go right. I get no orange can't go right because of purple here. So orange is done. Orange is just completely done and mm -hmm. is of size four. Yes. Blue is done. Mm hmm. And is of size three. 
Ah, so purple and... Uh, what, no, no, sorry, I was momentarily confusing size and total. Because I was going to say that, that purple and orange have to both be six, but no, that's not how this puzzle works. <laughs> it would be a good time to think about what the black dots in relation to the totals. We do have this string of black dotage from purple to blue to orange to purple. But I feel like there are still lot, lots of options. You will be pleased to know there is only one. Interesting. Like, what's the maximum that blue could be? Blue could be 389. Theoretically, uh, which is 20. Like, I don't see why it couldn't be that. I guess this would have to be 10 and have its 3 here and have 1, 2, 4 here. Have I just randomly stumbled into what it actually is? Uh, I, I believe you have randomly stumbled into what it actually is, but I believe you can justify it. It's like, I don't see any problems with this. So I, I think the question you didn't ask yourself, but that you could, is are orange and purple the same? Oh. Oh. They're not the same. Because if they were the same, there would be a white dot here. Yes. Yes. There is no white dot. So, that means that purple and orange have a 1 to 4 ratio. Enthusiastic nodding. So... Orange is minimum 10. Oh, this is the point. Orange is minimum 10. But blue can't be smaller than orange. Because then blue would be 5. And you can't have a 3 cell 5 cage. Well, what's orange maximum? Because, I mean, it, it could be, blue could be smaller than orange if orange That's was true. much bigger, what, right? What is orange maximum? Four? Or is it 28? 28 is correct. So then, if blue were smaller, blue would need to be 14. And purple would need to be? Purple would need to be 7. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, there's no way this can be any, orange can be anywhere near 28 because it's adjacent to a two cell cage. That is also a consideration. I had never thought of that before. I think in all the times I've set up this puzzle, but that is a way to figure out that orange has to be the small one, I think. Um. Yeah, because the, the biggest this could theoretically be is 11. Right. 2, 9. So orange can't be any larger than 12. So now we know orange is 10, 11, or 12 for sure. Mm -hmm. Which means it definitely has a 1 in it. Remember what you proved about blue. I know you did this in the sort of order that you might have forgotten, but you rem remember what the maximum blue can be is. The maximum blue can be is 20. Ah. Right. Because if we went down from 12... Right, that's the point. That's the point. If this is 12 and we go down, well, this could be 6. Sure. But now what is purple? Because we don't go back up. We proved that. 
So purple is three? I don't think so. That would be tricky. So, so okay, that is it. Now we have it. Now blue is definitely, uh, blue is definitely bigger than orange. I, I believe I have proved to my dis- satisfaction. So we max out orange and try to go down. We still run into problems. Yep. So blue is bigger than orange. But now, if we minimize orange and maximize blue, that's the only way blue is bigger than orange. Correct. Which means we get a digit, because orange needs a three in it. Zach will come out and give you the digit dance, even though you can't see the digit dance, but Zach will do the digit dance for you. The three dance. Wee, All right. Wee, now, wee, these, wee. The, <laughs> these are one, two, four. These are three, eight, nine. This one's not three. Which means purple has to be quite large. Purple has to be 40. Yes. So purple definitely grows down uh, three, four... See the minimum or the max we can make five is what what is the maximum we can make five cells? Mm, considerably less than forty. I think of it as what are the what are the Audis on forty? They're right, they're five, so that means that this has to be at least seven cells. Mm-hmm. So it comes out at least to here. Yep. All right. So that means that these are boundaries. Mm -hmm. And that's all purple. But purple still needs one or two more cells. Mm -hmm. And we roughly know what's in this. Oh, no, we must exactly know what's in this. Right, this is... Green is 9 or 11. Well, what's it got in it if it's 11? We're going to repeat the 9 in the in the box. So it's... Green is sums to 9 and it's 2, 7. Yes. And I bet you could even figure out what order if you wanted. I can. You have a one, two, four, triple in row one. Huh. Yeah, how about that? So now we need a two in here. Mm-hmm. And I bet I know where the two in orange goes, too. Ah, uh, purple doesn't come... This purple doesn't come down. Correct. Because orange does come down. So this needs to get out... Mm-hmm. Okay, so purple is... F- this purple is 5 or 20. Mm-hmm. And I don't think we have a good way of knowing which it is yet. I, I think you know which it is. Really? If it was 5... Okay, so how, how would, you, would make- you make 5? Right, 5 would... would have to stop here and be 2, 3 and repeat 3 in the row. And repeat two in the row. Oh, yeah, that too. You have a two in box one, by the way. You can do a little Sudoku. Oh, yeah. Fear not, I have returned. I just got this is five, uh, five and six, just because that's all that's left in the box. Good, I agree. Let's see. There's nothing stopping red from going up. Hmm. Both purple cages, you can say something about what direction they have to go. Interesting. 
Well, this purple cage, its size is either seven or eight. If we knew it was seven, it would have to get into column two for sure. I mean, I, I guess it has to get into column two either way then. Yeah, so if purple just went straight down like that, what digits is it missing? I mean, it definitely doesn't. Like, purple must get into column two, because either it's size well, eight, in which case there isn't room in the column, or it's size seven, in which case it needs a seven. But my point is actually, it's actually doomed if it goes down at all from where it is. Because if it goes down from where it is, you're right, it's not done. It needs another cell. But what digits is it missing? Oh. Let's see. So. So then it would be. Of size eight and it would be missing a five. Mm hmm. Oh, but then where do you put five in column one? Right. So this cell is not purple. Right. But that means this cell must be purple. Right. And orange has to... Ah. This orange has to get out. Purple comes here. The orange has to get out. But now yellow can't get out. It's done. Yes. So... That's orange. Yellow finishes. It's got a three in it, so that cell's not three. Mm hmm So we placed our three. Uh, orange doesn't go up from here, because it can't be next to yellow. This green doesn't go left. Yep. I would pencil mark the three in the yellow if uh, it were me. Sure. You, you said it out loud and you did the one of the consequences of it, but I would pencil mark it just to be safe. I, I was confident I would remember. Wait. I put a line there for no reason. Oops. I now recommend looking at what digits are left in row one. Okay, well, we have one, two, three, four. It's just five, six, eight, and nine. Mm-hmm. So that's going to say something about this purple? Yes. Uh, this purple sums to 20, which means purple can't get as far as this 3 at, at, at the very least. Definitely agree. So this 3 isn't purple. It's definitely true. Can the purple even get to the next cell in the row? Um, probably not. Is that a minimum that's five, six, eight, which is already 19? But then how do you satisfy the uh, size of the cage is in the cage rule? So Correct. purple does not go right. But purple can't end here, so purple goes down. Mm -hmm. So that, that, and now purple does end. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you've oh, justified. Oh no, it. no, no! Uh, it, if if it ended, it would have to be three, eight, nine, and that it, that's all kind of bad. <laughs> yeah, there are there are sorted problems, uh, as one might say. So it has to continue right from here. Mm -hmm. So that is mm -hmm. a legitimate line and then these are purple now 
there's no way this could be purple. Because how would blue not touch purple somewhere else? Agree. So yeah, this I would just cell, say. So this is some other color. Mm -hmm. But now blue has to be at least size three, but it can be at most size three. Right. Because blue can't come down anymore. Right. So that's blue and it's done. This can't be red. Oh, but it maybe could be green. But we know this can't be red because this purple and this blue have the same total. And so there would be a dot here. Very good. So this is either this green or it's a new color. Just give it a color and try and remember that. Ugh. I I like to award colors when I'm sure that uh sure that it's not uh, repeating. That that's fair. Yeah, I pre I prefer to award a color uh, when I know that a color is different than than everything we have. That's fair. This isn't eight. Agree. Now here's something cute. Exactly one of these cells is a three. Because this cage definitely has a three in it. Because it's got a two in it. Mm-hmm. If it were missing a three, it would have to also be missing a two. That is correct. It doesn't really do much, but it is cute. It, it, it will eliminates get you a three digit from you, one cell. It will it will get you a digit if you actually uh if you actually chase that just a little more. So there's three possible things that purple could be missing. It could be missing a two and a three, but you just proved it's not. It could be missing a one and a four, or it could be missing a five. Which is it missing? Oh, there's definitely one of one and four in these cells. Mm-hmm. Just by the column. So mm -hmm. these can't both be, this cell can't be both one and four for several reasons. So that gets me a bunch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now purple definitely has to grow one more and it's missing a five. Mm -hmm. So this is a six. Yes. That's a five. Mm hmm. What's row nine, column one? Oh, it is a five. Let's see, this yellow doesn't extend right. So it does extend down. Now, this is a new color. Mm hmm. Or could it also be green? This green is very pesky. Stupid green. You could at least put a line on that cage. The, the cage that you did not color because you were afraid it might be green. Right. It doesn't extend up. So there's that. We have now a second or third, if you will, uh, uncaged cell. Indeed. And now this goes down. Mm -hmm. The gripping moment where you mouse over the right place. I'm like, is, is he going to say it? Is he going to say it? And then you mouse over somewhere else. <laughs> oh, was I m mousing here and there's something here? Yes. Can yellow go down? Ah, uh, yellow can't go down. I was just, uh, I was just, uh, I just got Repeatedly there before you. Repeatedly putting the, the stroke over the, the thing and then not actually filling it in. 
was it was very cute because like is he gonna do it is he gonna do it now blue is minimum five six three which is 14 and you you can't get to 13 in two using a two so that means that yellow definitely extends left Mm-hmm. And that's going to box in purple. Mm -hmm. It's been slightly hard for you to see because of your notation that purple couldn't go down for a long time because of this white dot at the bottom of it. But this is another good way to see it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, yellow can't go left anymore. Mm -hmm. But yellow is free to continue downward. So one of these is a four. I guess I'm slightly okay pencil marking it that since it's all bordered and colored. Is it possible that purple doesn't have a one? That is, that is the way to resolve it into a nicer pencil mark. Is it possible that purple doesn't have a one? Uh, if it didn't have a one... It would be minimum two, four, five, six, I guess, or th th no, worse than that, because there's a two here. Uh, yeah, if it didn't have a one, it would be minimum four, five, six, seven, which seems to me that... 22? Uh, yeah. So th this is actually a one, four pair. Yes. And now these need to add to 15. That's just 6, 9, right? Mm hmm Can't do it any other way? Yep. Certainly can't be a 5 in there. And then you only have three digits left. So then it becomes 6, 9. Yep. So these aren't 6 and 9. Ah, now we know what blue sums to. Mm-hmm. Which is 16. Mm-hmm. So this can't get too, too big. Funny you should mention that. What? Well... Oh, well, it has to grow. I, I'm... Right. I'm a... <laughs> Otherwise, we repeat the three in the box. Seems bad. And now you might look at the givens again. So this isn't yellow. Correct. So we get another thing here. And if yellow comes down again, it's taking a seven. Which naively would be minimum one, two, three, five, seven. Two, three, five, eleven, seven, eighteen, which is too big. Yep. By one. Yep. So yellow is done. Uh, that is definitely not true. Oh, yellow doesn't come down. Yes. Uh, you have a very useful one in column seven. Oh, so I do. That's a four. That's a one. Now, whatever this is... Hmm. What did that four do? What did that four do? This four? Yes. I mean, it put a four down here. What did it do to yellow? Oh, these see all of the, these see this four. So yellow must extend. Mm hmm. So there's a border here because it doesn't come up. And yellow can't get any bigger because then it will be too big. Correct. So yellow is now definitely done. Yes. 
and it sums to either 15 or 17. And you can figure out which one and you know exactly what the digits are. Interesting. Surprised me a bit. Well, if it's 15, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mm -hmm. How many of those digits are in box 3 already? Three of them. So it is not 15. Yes. Uh, let's see. So it is one, two, three, four, seven, or one, two, three, five, six. Those are the two options, but only one of them has a five in it. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. So it's one, two, three, five, six. None of these are three, five. So this is just strictly one, two, six. So these are three, five. Mm hmm. Which will give you some extra joy if you chase threes and fives into box four. Okay, well, there's no three there. Fives. Ah, this is a three five pair. Mm hmm. Uh, just to make that clear, there's a five looking in here, so those aren't five. There's this five here, so those aren't five. And we already determined there's no five in purple. And whatever this is, it's a cage total that's adjacent with 20. Mm hmm. This can't be too small. But I don't know that I can prove that it comes here because. Ah, but two of those cells it can't actually take. Oh, right. It can't take this one. Right. And it can't be a three. You and actually two remarked just... earlier, it can't take row three, column four at all. Because that's a 20 cage it would be touching. Oh, I was really impressed when you spotted that so quickly earlier. Because that was how you knew red, or this thing wasn't red. Right. So this definitely comes down and it's not red. Mm hmm. So you can line at least that much. So this cell must be uncaged. Mm hmm. Poor cell. This cell could still be red, I think. For about six more seconds, yes. So whatever this is, it comes this way. Mm-hmm. And um, now this isn't green because it's touching red. Yep. So this is now a new color. Mm-hmm. At long last. Yep. So that's a border. Ah, now red can't go up because it would need a three in it. Yes, correct. So red is done. Yes. And contains a two, which goes exactly here by Sudoku. Yes. So this is also uncaged. Yes. Blue has nowhere it can accommodate a three. Right. I was just looking at that. So blue continues. Yes. Uh, and that's a border. That's blue. Green must now grow down. Mm-hmm. Uh, this cell now is uncaged. Yep. This cell could potentially still be green. So I guess we could ask what are the options for this cell? I think that is a wise choice. Uh, now, you would think it could be a one, but definitely not because of this cage. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and it sees two, three, four still isn't big enough for this cage. Correct. Uh, five still three, isn't five big enough for this cage. And it's not big enough. Oh, yep. there's also a five. Uh, six? It could be a six. And it could be a seven. And it could maybe be a nine. But that's nice and limiting. Yeah, and it puts a lot of pressure on uh, the cell two to its left now. That's because true. Now that you made that, that observation, now that cell's hurt. Right, so if this is 2, 6, then this needs to be a 1 to make 9. If this is 2, 7, this is 9. This can't make 8, so it would have to be 10. So that would be, ah! So this would be a 2. Which does so not sound great. So this can't be a 7. Correct. And if this was a 9... Then this is 11, and then this would be 12 with a 4 here. Mm -hmm. Or 10 with a 2. Uh. Which gives us a 1-4 pair in this column. Beautifully, yes. So fill out the rest of the column. Oh yeah, I guess these are just a pair. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, uh, just six and seven left. Mm -hmm. And you can resolve it in a way that I think is awesome. Because purple needs a seven. Oh, purple does need a seven. But why couldn't... Oh... Right, if this wasn't purple's seven, this would be a seven, and now purple couldn't get one. Right. That is there. That is very cute. So this is a purple seven. Yes. And that finishes purple. Mm-hmm. And now this is uncaged. That is true. And. That's a six. Yes. So far, I will say, I think this solve is going quite well. And I've been quite impressed by uh, lots of little geometry bits that Tristan has noticed. But this is definitely affirming my belief that this is probably a pretty difficult puzzle. Hello. Hello? Yes, I agree. Okay. Now, what was this puzzle about again? I don't All know. Right. I'm, I'm pretty sure that black dot in column 7 has to be a 3-6, if I know anything about black dots. Uh... uh -huh. I kind of wanted there to be an odd given, divid, given digit on a black dot, but it never worked out. Given divot? Yes, a, an odd given divot on a black dot. Yes. I could just write down what's left in this box. Would not hurt. So we still need a four, a five, a seven, and an eight. This is not four or five. No. Well, one of them's not eight. Oh, yeah. That's not one. Or two, it's six. Nice digit. You also have that given one that keeps uh, disappearing. So this adds to, what did we say, 17? Mm-hmm. So this... Has to, I am going to give this a color now. Just with the knowledge that we haven't yet proved it isn't green. I'm going to call it orange. 
Once you say out loud what its total is, you will know it isn't green. Oh, right. It's, it's uh, 34 is its total, I think. Yes. And this is not 34. Uh, and this doesn't come left. Agree. So it goes down more. Mm-hmm. And gets to be quite a bit bigger than that. It had better be, yes. Unless it's double eleven twelve. Uh. Ah, but then it wouldn't have a three in it. Ah, yes, that's a good point. That's a good point. We don't have to worry about the double eleven twelve case this time. Uh, here we have seven, eight, nine left in the row, but this isn't an eight. So it says mm -hmm. seven or nine. And so is the thing below it. Oh, just for the box. That makes mm -hmm. more sense. I want to look at the total of that little two cell orange cage. This one? Yes. Well, it's within two of whatever this is. Or it's the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 two apart or it's the same. So what's the absolute but, maximum it can be? Uh, 13. Mm hmm. We know orange grows, actually. Because it can't have a two in it. Mm hmm. Oh, but we don't know which direction it grows. How much does it have to grow? Uh, it has to grow to at least four. So what is the absolute minimum it could total to? Uh, four for the size plus six plus one and two would be 13. Right, which, but it, I don't think it can get both a one and a two. Or no, I, I guess it could get a one. Yeah, four, six, one, two is 13. Is the well, minimum. I mean, it, it had better be able to get a one and a two because you told me before. So you've said at the one hand it's minimum 13, but you also said it's maximum 13. Oh, I did, didn't I? <laughs> so this cage needs a two and it's going to have to get it here. Yep. And it's going to have to. That's very nice. I I am grateful that you prodded me towards that one because I, I was probably going to spend a lot more time not thinking about that. So this is a two. Mm -hmm. Let's see. This cage is done. Remove my line. And this is a one and a four, mm -hmm. which we don't yet know the order of. Mm-hmm. Though you will very shortly. Uh, now that this is 13, this needs to be 11. Mm -hmm. So this is a 9. So this needs to be a 4. Mm -hmm. To add up. That's a 1 and a 4 and a 1 and a 4. As mm -hmm. predicted. This is 11, which means this must be 22. Yeah, you can't do five and a half and two. It could still come here. But it actually has to go right. Well, I know it have can't. Size. I know it can't just go left. It does have to go right, whether it goes left or not. Right. And annoyingly, it could stop here. If that's a four. And mm -hmm. it takes that. Mm hmm. Could fill in column three. Uh, just looks like six, seven, eight, nine. Mm hmm. So these are eight, nine, and these are six, seven. Mm hmm. And those are resolved. Mm-hmm.
What's left in box seven, a three, and something else? I keep checking and I keep thinking that we have all the digits, but we can't. Three and a four, looks like. Ah, three and a four. And I guess we can write in column one, which is one, eight and nine, I guess. Sounds that's right. not nine, that's not eight. Row seven? Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four. We need five, seven, eight, nine. That's not an eight. That's not a seven. The seven, nine pair in column nine. Ah, yes, good. Now a five, eight pair. Mm hmm. That probably Oops. makes it worth writing in the rest of the column. Yeah. Not yet. Oh, that's a seven by Sudoku. Sounds good. That will get you a lot in box two. Yeah, because it takes seven out of all of those. <laughs> so that's an eight and that's a seven. Mm hmm. Now that's a seven by Sudoku. Why that and not the one above it? Oh, because I didn't see my pencil mark. But you can clean up the first three rows quite a bit. Well, that's not eight. Ah, so we get a four, five pair. That's seven, so that's nine, that's eight. That's nine, that's seven. I think that's all we get for now. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, this was 20. Mm -hmm. And so far in here, we have 16. Mm -hmm. So we could even finish with a three or a five here. No, not a five, a three. We could finish with a three here. Mm hmm. Probably right in column four and row four. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. We still need a one. We've got two, three, four. We don't have five. We don't have six. We don't have eight. These aren't eight. That's not one or five. Row four. Looks like we need one. Six and eight. It's not a six. Three digit. So that's a six. Also, there's a one in column eight. Oh, hey. That's a one. Digits all over the place. Eight. Yeah. We like it's those. A digit explosion. Zach really likes them. They make him dense. Mm -hmm. There's already a six in row five, just for pencil mark reasons. So, are we thinking more about this? This could still do things. Are we thinking about this? This could go anywhere. What digits can row five, column five be? You, you started to say it before, but then you didn't actually write it in. Okay, well, I don't think it sees a 1. It sees a 2. Could be a 3. And if it's a 3, the cage could end here. Mm -hmm. Let's see, we have 4 and 5 in the cage, 6 in the row, 7 in the box, 8 in the box, 9 in the box. Oh, so it's only a 1 or a 3. Woohoo! Triples everywhere. Specifically, one, three, five triples. Oh, here. Nice. So that's a six there. Mm hmm. Eight. Left with a one, five pair in the column. And the row also has a one, three, five triple. 
So you are very That's much rewarded for eight. that uh, pencil marking. One, three, five. Now the rest of the row. Let's see. We've got one. We don't have a two. We've got three. We don't have a four. We've got five, six, seven, eight. We don't have a nine, I don't think. That's not a nine. Okay. Uh, now that's not a nine. Ah, that's a nine. But I actually want to think about this cell in relation to the blue cage. Because there's only a certain number of possibilities. Mm-hmm. Interestingly, if this is a three, it could end there or take a two here, and they would both satisfy this white dot. But if it did that, it would put a 21 next to a 22 without a dot. Because green is 22. Green is 22. Oh, man. Yeah. So if this is a three, it definitely ends. If this is a one then it could take a two and be mm -hmm. 19. You can pencil mark the last cell in box five and it will get you to the, at least it will get you to more digits. Uh, okay. Uh, well, we haven't, let's see, we've got a one, three, five, triple. Ah, so this is just two or four. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot of digits. Uh, so it's four. Uh, so that's two, that's five, that's four. Uh, I was hoping it would see more than that, but. You have, you, you are getting many, many, many digits in the grid. Uh, you can probably start thinking about uh, looking at columns eight and nine pencil marks now. I know you turned your nose at column nine before, but now column nine has more digits in it. It's only got three digits and a pair. It's got I a guess. five eight pair, yeah. So Oh, ah, well, where does one go in the column? Let's ask that first. That seems good. Now we still need a two, a three, and a four. Sounds right. That one's not two or four. Okay, column nine was, uh, I, what does Simon say? I was maligning it unfairly. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. Uh, red can't take a second nine. Oh, so it can't. Uh, but it definitely extends. Oh, there's a two looking at this two four. that uh where was the two oh there was the two looking at the two four i see here very nice what's left in box six uh well still two and it goes here excellent and then three and five ah and that's gonna do some damage yeah so that's not five and that's not five so that's eight and five and eight and nine and these let's see we have one two three no four five seven that's not a four that's not a five or a seven and then this is a six excellent we have an awful lot more coloring to do. There, there is a decent amount more coloring to do. When we pencil mark the last cells of the grid. Oh, sure. Why not? Well, well, let's do these first. <laughs> that seems a wise uh, choice. Uh, so these. We still need a three in this row and a six, mm -hmm. which we don't have in these columns. 
Let's see. I'm trying to decide which which angle which house attack I should. to take. Yeah. Let's just start with the row. Yeah, then I guess the row. Uh, so we still need a one. We've got a two, three, four. Need a five. Got a six. Need a seven. And need a nine. That's not five or seven. Three. Let's see, there's a one in that col in column six. That cell's definitely not a nine. It's next to a nine. Perhaps worth investigating which ways your green 22 cage can uh, continue its life. Yeah, let's see. If this was four, five, six, seven, theoretically, what does that add up to? Sounds like 22 to me. Sounds like 22. So if that's five, we definitely do that. One, four, six. Then we'd need a, another 11, which we could get with an eight and maybe a three. Except you didn't put a five in the cage. Oh. So maybe four, five, six, seven is the only way to go? Yep. I, I think the easiest way to see it is just say, assume this takes the eight and then think what happens. Because now it already sums to 18. The That one five has to be a one. So it already sums to 19. Because if it was a five, you'd be over. And now you can't put a five in it where it goes over. Right. So, so. that's... A five. This is green. Mm-hmm. And we green can... Green is done. Clean up almost all the Sudoku. Oh, uh... That five just uh, blew up the world. Yeah, so that's a one, that's a nine. Three and five, three and five and three and six and three and nine and six box five you have a lone uh unsolved cell so it's a one now this has to come out mm -hmm. so it doesn't add up to enough so that's blue and this is just Done, I think. Anything else takes it too high. Mm -hmm. So this adds to 19. Mm -hmm. So this is going to add to 18 or 20, so it's definitely not red. Correct. So this is a new color. Mm -hmm. What is red's total at now? 15, 20? We get awfully close if we take that eight. Could we finish if we took the eight? Twenty-eight. We need thirty-four, right? Mm-hmm. So we'd need six more. Well, I don't know how we're getting that. Yeah, we we can't, because the the ways of getting six are a single six, a one five, a two four, and a one two three, all of which conveniently are broken by uh the uh the available collection of digits so it can't take this eight right which i think is very cool i i was very pleased when i discovered this but it definitely grows mm -hmm. so now we add to 22 mm -hmm. there was there some good reason it didn't take this cell Yes, because it already has a nine. Right, right, right. So it doesn't go up. Correct. So it needs another 12. Mm-hmm. So I could just nab these two and just be done with it. Mm-hmm. It can't take these because then it doesn't contain its size. And it contains two nines. 
That as well. I think you can convince yourself the 20 cage, that purple, I think that purple has to take the three, uh, just to make your life easier. So the purple doesn't take the three, it's going to be way over 20 before it finds its size. Sure. It is just in a minefield of ginormous digits if it does not take the three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's already started at eight. So, yeah, so that'll resolve that for you. So Sorry. now red just has no choice but to whoops. Red just has no choice but to just be done. Yep. Red is going to grab those. And it does contain its size. Yep. Cute how you have all the digits resolved except for this deadly pattern and then a bunch of more coloring to do. Yes. And you really don't get to resolve the deadly pattern until the coloring is basically done. So this is uncaged for sure. And purple can't reach here. Correct. Purple only sums to, is it 18 or 20? I think it's 18 or 20. Uh -uh. Right. And so if it takes the seven, that is 18. So that's actually oh, quite plausible. Oh, but it plausible. can't take this. It actually can't because look at the look at the dot. Oh, right. So it doesn't take that seven. Um, so it could take a seven here and be done. Can it do anything else? I don't think it can. It could take the nine below it and be done. Oh. In fact, your version uh, where it takes the seven, seven and is yeah. done creates some problems for the nine. Oh, right. Is that nine's boxed in now? Yep. So, I guess purple has to take the nine? I... Yeah, it can't. It can't take the other cell, and it only has right. to it only has one more cell. Right. Okay. So that's purple, and we draw in our cage like that. And now this is this is twenty. Mm -hmm. So. How does this make? So this makes 10 or 40. Mm -hmm. uh, 10 is looking a bit iffy. 10, given that it starts with a 6, 10 would have to be 631. And I don't think you're finding a 3 anywhere close enough. So this is going to have to go up to 40. Mm-hmm. So it can't take this. Mm -hmm. So then it's just a bunch of math. I don't think it's actually that much math because uh, it can't take this. It can't take that. So it's just a giant snake. But the the things to the right of six don't add up to 40. So for it needs to go left. That only adds up to. 11, 13, 17, 18, 24. So it needs to take, even if it took Including all of Including the that, six? Oh, sorry. Uh, 11, 13, 17, 18, 24. 24, including the six. So it needs to take at least 16 more before it stops. Uh, but it could take a seven and a nine. So it always takes that those two digits. That's the point. I guess that's true. Yes. And now what happens if it does take the one over to the right? Or sorry, over to the left. Oh, then it's just cut off. <laughs> right. Now it's only got six digits and you cannot do it in six digits. So. So it does do the thing we said. Yes, it takes all of those. So these are uncaged. Mm hmm. 
This cage finishes like this. Mm -hmm. So make sure I didn't finish. If, if, make sure I didn't forget any coloring or edges anywhere. Yeah, you definitely got to make sure. So then we can resolve that that's a seven, that's a seven, that's a five, and that's a five. Very nice. <laughs> you going to start including solutions? I don't know. I haven't downloaded the thing to include solutions yet. Uh, I think that's a whole other script to keep track of. Uh, anyway, I got there. Took me two hours, there. but I got there. Very nice. I do think this is a harder puzzle. Uh, it is. Um, you, you certainly got me there. I, I certainly think I, I think this one's much more even than like I really tried not to do the thing that Bounce did where there was sort of like a last bit at the end that was sort of like much harder than the rest. I tried to keep this one sort of like from having any really sticky, sticky points. Uh, like e even the part at the end where it looks like it's terrifying because you're like, oh, God, I have to fill in a 40 cage. I think actually everything is a line. Uh, so I think you actually don't have to think about it that bad. Uh, you did very well at sort of immediately identifying how powerful the negative constraint was in terms in terms of forcing all of the geometry, uh, which is I I think the uh, the key to a lot of the puzzle is appreciating uh, the ways in which the geometry is forced by the fact that like nothing shares too many dots. You have fact, exactly actually, one cage that's not a line. Ah, uh, yeah. Interesting. Are you going to dance for me? Zeta dance. Yay, Zeta dance. Zeta dance. I know you miss the Zeta dances. I uh, do miss the Zeta dances. Much uh, as I like Zack. Oh. Uh... I was going to say something and then I lost it. Oh, yeah. I think it actually turned out that there actually are no two cages that share more than one dot. There were at many points in the process of uh, setting this. Uh, it is true. I, I'm pretty sure I have triple checked. There are no dots that should be there that are missing. But, oh, God, uh, I... It wasn't until my like second or third test solve that I realized if I did not include the fact that this cell, this three, was not in a cage, there are actually two different solutions for the geometry at the end. Because instead of taking the three eight over there in the cool place, you could take the lame three eight over here. Uh, so I had to black that off. I didn't think I. I don't think it ended up. I don't think saying that that was not part of any cage ended up like. It didn't end up as ugly as I was afraid it would. Uh, it's fine. I I, th I think I will probably leave it this way and uh, call it good. Uh, oh, I love you. Oh, thank you for doing oh, the puzzle. I love you too. Oh, you're welcome. Hmm. Oh. I I I hope we can turn this into something enjoyable. <laughs> yeah, I, I have no I, I, I worry that this is going to be a very difficult project to turn into a uh, not this not your solve. I think your solve actually is going to be like one of the more redeeming parts of this. <laughs> you, you, you might actually be able to like thread the setting part through your solve instead. That might be more watchable. I don't know. Uh, okay, there's an awful lot of me futzing with this, especially this freaking bottom part uh that took forever to get to resolve in any which way uh so i kept being like i've got so much of the logic that i like don't break the logic that i like uh the dot the dot between the two and the eight in box five oh god that killed me because originally the dot was between the four and the eight uh and that forced the geometry and it like forced all the geometry in this really nice way but then the puzzle broke in some some one of the 1700 ways that it broke. So I was like, oh, well, I can achieve the same thing if I move the dot up there. Uh, 
but then uh, then you end up not sort of getting this geometry quite as quickly as you uh, you would otherwise. Uh, anyway, I was I had a lot of fun watching you do it. I uh, I cool. hope other people like both the uh, setting thing and also like the puzzle. Uh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm really happy with how the puzzle came out. I, I think people will like it, even though I do think this is going to be a... Uh, I think this will go down as one of the harder Zeta puzzles. Uh, I think one of the consequences of the fact that I kept breaking this puzzle over and over and over again is that I got very good at the deductions that you can make in this puzzle. And so then I think some of them ended up being harder because I figured them out through the process of uh, breaking the puzzle over and over again. But anyway, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, like the video. And if you're if you're new to the channel and you haven't yet subscribed, we'd like you to subscribe. And I stream every week, uh, Wednesdays and Saturdays. So go ahead and stop by the streams. Uh, I really encourage you to stop by and view things. Uh, if you want to support the channel, uh, you can also do that by becoming a YouTube member or uh, supporting us on Patreon at patreon.com slash ZetaMath. Thank you, everyone. Uh, leave a comment or question if you have any of them. I'll try to respond. Uh, and I hope to see you at my streams. Bye for now.